the royal family is looking to hire someone for a very special, if somewhat unusual, job. King Charles III is looking to hire someone to help reply to his letters. Watch the video above, King Charles egged during royal walk about for more royal family related news and videos check out royal family greater than greater than the job, based at Buckingham Palace, has a salary of up to $100,000. Whoever wins the role will also respond to letters sent to his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, plus William and Catherine the Prince and Princess of Wales. It is a five-day-a-week job totaling 37.5 hours per week, the King receives a high volume of letters, which need thoughtful and sensitive handling. The successful applicant will need to write back with standard replies, although in some cases they will require individually crafted responses. The successful applicant for the head of royal correspondence role will oversee how these letters are dealt with. Our correspondence team manages correspondence to the king, the queen consort and the prince and princess of Wales, the job advertisement reads. They manage a high volume of mail all of which requires thoughtful and sensitive handling, whether by standard replies or individually crafted responses. Reporting to the Director of Operations, you'll provide strategic leadership for the correspondence function, ensuring that robust plans are in place for major events and strategic issues are managed effectively. Bringing strong people management skills and a desire to maintain rigorous standards, you'll ensure that the team is well-run, motivated and delivering to agreed quality and timescales. In all that you do, you will maintain a first-class correspondence function. The ad continues, acting as the main point of contact for the correspondence unit, you will deputize for the director of Paseo on relevant matters and work closely with colleagues to respond to changes in the wider correspondence ecosystem. No two days will be the same, this is an exciting time to join us as you will lead on the implementation and use of a new case management system, devising suitable KPIs and driving the continuous improvement of the function. And as you use data to inform your team's activity, you'll have the reach to make a genuine impact at the heart of this world-famous institution. Applicants are expected to be an experienced people manager. You will be able to lead the correspondence function, managing the day-to-day -day operational activity while also feeling comfortable stepping back to view the bigger picture, the advert reads. With experience of using a case management system, you'll understand how this can be used to devise metrics and improve service delivery. You will be able to manage projects and have demonstrable capability in delivering change. Able to balance strategic and operational priorities, and with outstanding analytical skills, you'll know when to delve into the detail or when to retain a wider perspective. With the ability to work with and influence internal and external stakeholders, you will be able to call upon persuasion and presentation skills in a deadline-driven environment. Interviews will be carried out in December, Queen Elizabeth II, who died in September, used to receive about 200 letters per day, or more than 70,000 per year. News of the job vacancy sent the Twitterverse into overdrive, the Falklands are still mine. Deal with it. Sincerely, The King, one Twitter user joked, adding, Am I hired? He does struggle with pens, noted another, referring to a recent moment in which King Charles lost his temper over a leaking pen. It's tough being a Windsor, will they be faking all the letters to the people turning 100? wondered another. One person felt that the Prince and Princess of Wales, formerly the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, probably didn't really need someone to respond to letters on their behalf. Why? Letter writing is a person, sick thing, and I am sure the Cambridges have time to write their own. For more engaging royal content, visit 7Life on Facebook.